I'd like to find out a bit more about the world outside of medicine. Get out of that classroom desk review space. We entirely too much are looking for fake solutions to not real problems. This is a town with the highest Gini coefficient in the world, which is the coefficient that indicates the biggest difference between poor and rich. There's a niceness to having to experience that dialectic daily, because you are almost reminded daily that these worlds could be shifted so easily in short spaces of time or short distances. We saw the need for a program to try and facilitate all of these development dimensions, but at the same time give them the courage and the confidence to work with big ideas. One of the reasons why I'm doing an info in inclusive innovation is that I'd like to find out a bit more about uh, discoveries, innovations, about new technology, new processes. What I think is important about an infill is that even though it's at master's level, in some way you're seeding the production of new thinking as opposed to just consuming a curriculum. The course is really based on four key words. It's knowing, doing, being and becoming. We're far too used to only educating the mind, but the interaction between doing, thinking, reasoning, and the tactile experience of that is important. Africa is moving away and has to move away from charity. And that is what you're trying to do with this course. You're trying to support those people that have an idea and to build that in such a way that it's absolutely charity independent. You have to find real solutions for real people. Now, in order to find it and to know that it is a real solution, you'll have to test it, you'll have to prototype it. So that is where the action learning comes in. So we want students to build their prototype, go out, try it, and see how people react. I got the idea that uh, as patients were moving from one clinic to the next, they weren't able to take their records with them. And I thought, you know, that's quite a waste, given that we're in a such a resource-limited setting. So my project focuses on introducing mobile payments into the informal economy through a very explorative study of informal traders in Cape Town. The synergies here are amazing. A nice tension in the class that keeps you thinking and that keeps you kind of questioning what you think and that helps you observe yourself. We shouldn't be educating business people, we should be educating history makers or people who can disclose whole new worlds and I think this is what we try to do with this course. The benefit of having an inclusive innovation course like this grounded at a place such as the Graduate School of Business, which is a, a premier African business school, is that we are able to take the best of both worlds in order to make a true difference, more than just profit.